Hi, it's Roger from The Roger McDonald Show, and I'm interviewing Francesca Moy. How are you, Francesca, today? I'm very well. How are you, Roger? I'm really well. Thank you so much, Francesca. And now you are the meetup queen. You've got literally thousands of people following you. You've uh, spent some time with Tony Robbins, and you're immensely successful. So I, I just really wanted to ask some questions for the benefits of our viewers to get to know who Francesca is. Sure. Thank you for having me. So you're from Italy. Tell us about Italy. What's that like? Growing up there and all that kind of stuff. Well, I was I was born in Italy. I came to Australia around eight years ago. Um, and Italy, you know, is, is wonderful. I love um, Italy. I love the the life lifestyle over there. Um, but obviously, I'm I'm half Aussie. My heart here is in Oz, and I feel um, an Aussie lady. So. I'm, I'm really happy to be here, and I'm really, um, you know, grateful to um, to have this country give me um, citizenship and be able to to you know inspire and, and do what I do. Um, it's really like a dream. Because I grew up in a country town with a lot of uh, Italian people, Portuguese people, people from Yugoslavia. So I'm very familiar with uh, with um, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, with Italian and, and Portuguese and, and uh, Yugoslavian people, so it's yeah, really great. Yeah, they're very Italian. But yeah, that's why I love your accent. Uh, so, tell us about you. What do you do specifically to help help people? Well, um, I have a little bit of a story. So, eight years ago, I came to Australia, and I was working in corporate. I was working in the nine to five job, and I wasn't really happy. And then. Um, I decided to go back to Italy thinking that Australia wasn't for me. And when I go back to Italy three years ago, um, literally uh, in December, it's going to be three years ago, I went back to Italy for three months and I was um, studying personal development because I knew that there must have been more to life. I was like, this is, can't be it. There must be more. And I'm missing out on something and I want to find out what it is. And, um, and I'm so grateful that I did because I've learned so much and I decided to help others and do the same, you know, I decided to help others to find the passion because there is, there is a passion for everyone. Um, so I did that and I came back to Australia thinking, you know, I'll bring personal development to Australia, you know, very, um, not knowing that there was already, of course, uh, a, a lot of personal development in Australia too. So when I got here, I got scared that I would not be able to um, make it as a life coach because there's so many life coaches around and, so much competition. I'm like, how am I going to stand out from the crowd? This is impossible. And I started to freak out. Um, and then I had this idea two years ago. I had an idea to um, start a meetup group. And the rest is history. From there, um, I got three months um, after that I started a meetup group, I got fully booked as a life coach. Um, and then I realized that there must have been more to business than just work time for money. And uh, I realized that, yes, there was, and workshop was the, the way to go. So I started to teach business owners how to start their own meetups, start their own um, Facebook groups, and create a huge following like I did. Um, and I'm so proud of my clients. They're doing really amazing. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of being part of their journey. And, and what's been the most difficult challenge that you've overcome so far, Francesca, in building that? Um, that's a really good question. There is a lot of challenges um, as a single guy in business. You, you wake up in the morning and you go, yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, and then it's going to go ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. It's like the whole day is a, is a roller coaster. So um, the, the biggest challenge, I, I think, is doing it by yourself. Um, you know, the, the feeling of, you know, I'm doing this. I don't know if I can do it all by myself. And that's why I'm so passionate about communities. And that's why I started a meetup group to see if I could hang out with like-minded people. Brilliant, yeah, because that's what one thing that can happen in business: you get isolated and get down and discouraged. And it's good to be and share and build networks. And I love how you really build a strong community. And if I've learned anything from you, it's just how awesome you are at building community and bringing people together. That's something you do so well. And you met. Tony Robbins, tell us about that story. I, I heard you, you tell me this story, and I just want you to tell the story, if that's okay, for the viewers, sure, it's sure. really cool. Um, well, Tony has been a big part of my of my journey. I, I, I love the man. He's just um, such a genuine person, and, and I know that um, uh, I was one of those people that judged him at the beginning of my, uh, when I was introduced to him, going, 
ah, oh, you know, it's just a rah rah, you know, just go there to get pumped up, and you know, and um, and that's it. And and when I went to a, um, the first event, I was going, ah, oh, this is not what people perceive him as. He is not a motivator. There's so much more to this guy. Mm-hmm. And um, and I decided I wanted to meet him and collaborate with him, and and it was literally um as soon as I started my business. So obviously. I was sort of laughing at myself going, yeah, as if he's going to collaborate with you. Like, you, you no one, nobody knows of you, Francesca. Why are you talking about? Then all that sad talk that happened. And, um, and I decided to, um, I decided to just sell tickets for him. I understood that what, what he wanted, what he needed was more bums of seats in, in Australia because his events are very, very small, uh, compared to what he's, he's got in US. So I decided, all right, I'm going to help him. I'm going to get some bums or seats for him. Um, but I've got to make sure that I put bums or seats for myself as well because I can't just make money for Tony and not for my business. Mm-hmm. So I made a deal with myself. And I sold, in six months, I sold $100,000 worth of tickets for him. And I sold $100,000 of my courses um, wow. to my clients. So I was very happy with it. And I got the chance to meet him because of that. So... It was the most amazing moment um, to meet Tony Robbins in person and have a, uh, a genuine chat. Like, he was genuinely interested in knowing how and why I sold that many tickets. Um, and I tried to be very smart and professional and I tried to say all this great thing, but all that came out of my mouth is, I love you, Tony. <laughs> it was so silly. Um, but um, that, that's why what I think, uh, you know, it works. I, I've always... I can't lie, my face is, is very um, transparent and when I, when I think something, you can see it through my face. Or when I, you know, so I can't lie. So I was in front of him and I was just like, I can't pretend to be professional or whatever. This is me. I just love you. That's why I, I, I sent so many of you guys because I wanted to meet you. Um, so he was very grateful and we have a, a collaboration deal together to me to send more tickets for him. And I just put that on hold for now because my business is getting, is getting into a seven-figure business. So... We need, I need to spend a little more energy into it um, and I didn't want to spread myself too thin by you know, promoting Tony and promoting myself. So I'll get to the seven-figure business and then I'm, I will be right back into it. Brilliant. Now, that's a really beautiful story. And I remember buying Tony, uh, Tony Robbins' personal power like 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it was on an infomercial. So yeah, I, I, I really know him well. So that's awesome that you met him. And who is your ideal person that you can help, Francesca, through what you do? Look, my ideal client is, I've got actually two um, ideal clients. And there is one person that is like me two years ago. And is that person that has no idea how to market themselves, has no idea how to stand out from the crowd, um, has probably not even an idea where this business is going to take them to, um, but they just know they want to make a difference. And, um, and that person is like me two years ago, and, and literally I can help them set up a meetup group, a Facebook group, I can help them. Uh, create a following and that following will tell them where they need to go. They tell the the following, the very fans will direct them to the right um right place. So that's one of them. And the other one we 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 are growing so much that we're going towards now um a different target market which is my diamond clients, um, which are um people that already are fully booked as one on one um coaches, they you know, coaches or um, you know, trainers or whatever, whatever they are, they're already absolutely booked. They want to move um, and towards one to many. They want to start to do workshops, and they don't know how to fill up their workshops. So I will help them. Um, you know, again, starting a meetup group, a Facebook group, and take their workshop all over Australia in not even six months. So that's really exciting. That's brilliant, outstanding. So um, that'll be an awesome program to be involved in the Diamond program. And so, how can people, uh, how can our viewers reach out and, and get in touch with you, Francesca? So um, I've got obviously my uh, Facebook page, um, uh, the Meetup Queen. Um, but what I love is communities, right? So I've got a Facebook group of three thousand five hundred people that is called the Entrepreneurs Abundance Mindset. Um, and that's what I do. You know, a lot of people in the interviews, they, you know, they're happy for me to share, to sell, um, to do anything. But all I love is for them to join my community, the Entrepreneurs Abundance Mindset, where every Tuesday morning I do a, a half an hour um, uh, FM shortcut uh, for business. So I'll share this webinar where I give them shortcuts on how to get to the next level. So I, I love to build trust with them and, and have them in my community. And 
um, and you know allow them to promote their business as well and, and things like that. So that, that I think will be the best way to get to know each other. Absolutely brilliant. I know we've got a little special competition for, for our viewers today. Uh, would you like yes. to share more about that? Yes, yes, yes. So um, I love to give and I love to offer prizes. Um, so you and I, Roger, we decided to do this little prize for um, your listeners, which is a competition to win um, my half-day workshop, uh, which is valued at $97. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm all over Australia next year. In 2017, we're launching Adelaide and Perth, and we're already, we're already doing um, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and Gold Coast. So, um, you know, if you're anywhere of those places and you want to come along to my half-day workshop where I'll teach you um, exactly my strategies on how um, I do it all so, uh, and how my clients are doing it, um, you just want to go to the Meetup Queen um, Facebook page um, and just put a comment, you know, um, FM... Um, FM Roger competition, we should say. So the hashtag should be FM Roger competition, and just put like a little uh, less than twenty-five words of why would you want to win my half-day workshop, and um, and then we will pick a winner. Okay, that sounds fantastic, and I really want to thank you so much, Francesca, for making the time today. It's been an awesome interview, and I and I, I've known just a little bit about you over the last few months, and I'm really keen for other people struggling in business to get to know you in order to improve their businesses. It's really Thank you. Advantage. Thank you so much. And Roger, I'll be in Perth next year, so I look forward to meeting you then. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, Francesca. Thank you.